All right, we just pulled up to our first little spot. We got a couple minutes till lines in. And so I'm getting all my baits dialed in and this, that, and the third. And uh, this is an area right here where I had a really big one in practice. Of course, that was almost a week ago now and a lot of things have changed, but I know this is an area where they want to get. Start off here and hopefully, hopefully put some in the boat quick. Get that momentum going, a little confidence. You know, all the things that we like to have as fishermen and get us get us going and get dialed in. So looking forward to a good day. It's a nice day, the weather's nice. A little overcast in like the mid 50s to start off the morning. I think it's gonna get to be about 70, low 70s. It's gonna be a nice day. I mean, they should be biting. When we think they should biting and when they think they should be biting, it's two different things. <laughs> we got three minutes to countdown. Just wanted to holler at y'all real quick, give y'all kind of insight what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. And hopefully we start swinging that bat here soon. Woodies. There they go, right there. You duck hunt at all? Yeah. And two woodies right there. Yeah, I heard them. Yeah, you guys got excellent hunting over there in uh, on Grand. Oh yeah. Or yeah, in that area. Do you hunt on Grand Lake itself? I live on Grand. So you you hunt you two bird, minutes. You duck hunt on Grand Lake. Oh yeah. No kidding. Yeah. What do you guys get mainly? Uh, mallards. Mainly mallards. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. You get. I mean, you can kill some teal up there early, but. Blue wing? Yeah. That's cool. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lines in. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you. The water just fell out pretty good over the last few days, too. That always makes it interesting. Whew. Got you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, turbo crawl. I don't know how I say it, all in his jaw. Three pounds, ten ounces. Three ten. Thank you, sir. Get that bag out of your way. Nope. That's fine. Got you, buddy. Barely got you, buddy. Got you. Thank you! Oh. A little chunker. Two pounds, 14 ounces. Here, let me get a picture of that. Yep. I was just talking bad about these bridges.
500 plus. I think it's five. Four pounds, six ounces. Four, six. Three pounds, three ounces. Three, three. All right, morning, YouTube. We out here day four. We made the cut, top 10. Everybody starts at zero. I'm super excited. I got my boat official here, my camera guy, who's helping me out with the light right now. Shout out to them guys. And uh, man, we're on a brand new lake, Lake Sharon Harris. We know nothing about this lake. I didn't even have a chance to do any kind of last minute research, you know, cause you don't know if you're gonna make the top 10 or not, but we made it. I did have a drive around period on my off day. I came here and rode around for a couple hours just to take a look. I like what I saw, had some grass in the lake, you know, things like that. It's gonna be kind of interesting. So we're gonna get out here, give it everything we got. And when it's all said and done, hopefully we got ourselves a red trophy. So y'all stay tuned, I'm gonna record everything today. Let y'all see what we catch or not catch. Cause that happens too, but we here. Hit it. He hit it the first time. I know it wasn't crazy. Two pounds, six ounces. Two six. Two six. He bumped me the first time. I went back in there and got him. Jackhammer, baby. Getting it done. It's a good one. Six out. Four, six. For my Alabama folks, my Tuskegee folks, a four, six. I'm not complaining. I mean, you know, for a lake that I've never seen and just to roll up and start fishing, we got us a few in the boat. And, uh, you know, that's that's the main thing is to keep, keep getting bit. The more bites, the merrier. I think we caught four and uh, we're doing the fishing clean and that's the only other thing you can ask for is a fish clean we haven't lost any and uh, I hope not to lose any all right we just wrapped up period one I'm sitting in fourth place caught four bass in that period biggest one being a four six I don't feel like I got anything completely figured out but getting a few bites just parallel in this sawgrass with a chatterbait and I'm almost certain these are spawning bass and so I'm gonna continue to do that because that's really all I got going just rigged up a frog I'm gonna start throwing a frog around in some of these really tight pockets like you see behind me big females cannot stand a frog when they're sitting on bed so hopefully uh, hopefully one of those big giants come out and grab us
Yes. That's a solid one. Fat. See the red eyes? I'm telling you. Spawn time. Three pounds, two ounces. Three, two. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Jackhammer, razor shad, baby. <clears throat> Marcus fish weighs three pounds, five ounces. Three five. Three five. Ding. Ding. Still in this thing, baby. Five pounds, eight ounces. Five eight. Thanks, bro. Yeah, bro Woo, Jack Hammer. Go. Five pounds, eight ounces. Fatty. So that's it. We gave it everything we had. We finished in fifth place. Amazing week here in North Carolina. Riley, man, I'll tell you, you guys got something special with these three lakes. I'll definitely be back, whether it's just for vacation, having a good time or whatever. But uh, kind of an overview of the last few days. It's kind of been a whirlwind. But uh, we'll jump right into day three. You know, uh, day three out on Falls Lake, I tried to revisit some areas where I had some bites. But they pulled the water down like three quarters of a foot and it just wasn't happening. That wasn't going to be the deal. And I, I picked up on that kind of early. So then I just went junk fishing. Um, I utilized my second day of fishing as a practice day because I had enough weight to make the cut. And I kind of knew that. So during that practice day, I drove way up the river just looking, scouting. I didn't even really fish. I was just really looking for some areas that had potential that I could just run and fish during a tournament. And I found this area called Knob Creek, a really big open flat creek. 
and uh, it looked really good, but I didn't fish it. And so after I went and checked some of the things that I had going that morning previously in the original practice, um, and that wasn't happening, you know, I said, Let's fire up this new this new Mercury V8 and hightail it up the river. That's exactly what I did. And I ended up running into that creek. I wasn't getting a lot of bites, but it was all about that Z-Man turbo crawl. I mean, you guys see catch after catch on a turbo crawl. You know, it's my opinion that Z-Man's Elastec separates itself from any other soft plastic on the market. It's extremely buoyant and it always remains in the fish's viewpoint. So where when you flip that bait in the water and it goes to the bottom, it's not just laying flat on the bottom. Those pinchers are standing right up without you doing anything. And I got a lot of bites where I didn't even have to move the bait. I just flipped it out there, hit the bottom, and then boom, I caught them. So a stellar week doing what I absolutely love to do. The first technique I was ever introduced to as a child on the California Delta was flipping. And so it's really dear to my heart. And anytime you could tote around that 25 pound flipping fluoro from Seaguar and hit them upside the head like that, it just don't get no better than that. That was day three. And then we jumped into day four and over on Sharon Harris, which I didn't get any practice time on, but as you heard me state in the previous video, we had a ride around period. And there's only so much you can accomplish, you know, in a ride around period. I mean, you can graph around, but it's not really that time of year. It's not summer. So the fish aren't offshore on ledges or anything like that. It was more or less see what you could visually see that might have potential. In case you made the top 10, you can roll to. And so I decided to run up into a creek that was right there near the nuclear plant. It looked the best to me. It had a bunch of beautiful grass, that running dollar grass in the back. And I thought that was going to be the deal. Wasted, I don't know, about 30 minutes fishing in the morning, swimming a jig and throwing a frog and buzz bait. Never happened. So I was like, okay, this ain't, this ain't going to work out. So then on my way out of that creek, I didn't want to leave. I still felt like that creek, you know, was going to be a player. I started paralleling the sawgrass with a jackhammer chatterbait. And that ended up being the deal, you know, for me. You know, guys caught him doing other things. Jacob was throwing a frog. He caught a big bag. Prozny was throwing a wacky worm and won the tournament. Shouts out to Proz for that. I mean, a lot of different techniques played, but I felt like the chatterbait was a staple. And you could see that uh, Takahiro Mori, he also caught him on a chatterbait, doing the same thing, different color. You know, it was crazy. And, and sometimes we were in the same area. So it was certainly a good technique. It wasn't the winning technique. But at the end of the day, I caught a bunch of fish on it both uh, bruised green pumpkin with a razor shad trailer. And then I was also throwing green pumpkin with a new color that just came out called hot snakes. Mimics a bluegill. Excellent. And going back between those two colors, one in stained water, one in clear water, I ended up catching me, uh, I think it was 30 pounds. I had something like that, 30 pounds and some change for I think nine fish maybe. I can't remember exactly, but it was, it was, a, it was a good day. Great week. Got some great points. Had a blast. Really enjoyed myself in Riley, North Carolina. So thank you all for subscribing and checking out these videos. Like I said in the previous video, I'm going to start back getting on my vlog game, on my YouTube game. I've been lacking. I know it, but I'm here. I'm back. I appreciate all the support, all the comments. Um, if you guys want to see something, something you're curious about, and I think it's a fitting video, drop it in the comment section, and I'm going to do my best to try to get that out to you guys. So until the next time, I will see you guys on the water. Peace out.